So a few years ago, when I was back in high school, um, I got this autoimmune disease called ADEM, um, A-D-E-M. It, it stands for Acute Disseminating Encephalomyelitis. And uh, uh, what it does is it, all the myelin in your brain, which is like the stuff that helps your neurons fire properly, like all the myelin, my body started attacking it. And so that made me get these really bad headaches. Like at first they were just the like mildly annoying kind of headache, but they just kept getting worse and worse over time. I, I went to the doctor and they were like, oh, this looks like meningitis, but if it was, you'd probably already be dead. I, they told me it was like just the cold or just the flu and that I should just take ibuprofen every two hours. So I followed that because I trusted them. But I ended up, I was just popping pills. I, I even stopped going to school because it was, it was getting to the point where it was the kind of thing where like, even just getting up and walking a few feet was this horrible ordeal. I just stayed at home and laid there. We later learned that uh, if I hadn't ta been taking so many pills, if I hadn't been taking so much ibuprofen, we would have known much sooner just how much pain I was in, like, which would have been better. So one day I woke up in my bed and my legs were just numb from the knees down. And I also couldn't see out of one of my eyes. That's when I knew things were getting bad. Like I, I called my neighbor and we went to the hospital like as soon as possible. It took them a day to figure out what was really wrong with me. They ran various tests on me, but the thing that gave it away was a test that showed that my white blood cell levels were just off the charts. That was the giveaway for them that it was Adam and not something else. They put me on some sort of steroid, which thank God was able to stop the swelling in my brain, but they also told me that I had to be in bed for the next 40 days. I remember being really angry. You know, I, I guess I just didn't want to think of myself as a sick person, you know? Like, I hated that I was somehow reliant on something besides myself. It really forced me to feel like I was really other, like I was different. Eventually, I started to be able to, you know, do stuff again, but I had to rebuild my neural pathways to, like, get back the coordination that I had before. And there's some connections in my brain that I just still have to work on them, like, still to this day, because they're not what they used to be. You can build around them, but, like, you can't ever fix them. And I had to learn to live with that. Like, even now, every time I get a headache, every time I find myself slipping up in my words, or like not being able to balance, like literally balance myself, I'm reminded of that. Like, the worry is still there. You know, especially when you're young, you take the ability to like talk, to write, to jump, to do crosswords for granted when you don't realize that you can lose that ability. So I guess having that experience made me really appreciate like what I do have now because that is really, really valuable. And I wanna take full advantage of that.